Okay. Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah Kwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutation to you, Akim, out there that push this word in truth and in sincerity. This is going to be a great millstone to the point. Abu Ratazai, you Akim, out there will be edified. And without further ado, I'm going to get into these scriptures. This is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 34. Blessed is the man that heareth me. Hear who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. The words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. For the most high set of prophets and teachers and apostles to, to um, edify the elect. So it says, Blessed is the man that hath me watching daily at my gates, which means door. You see, and that's what we do. We watch daily for the prophecies to come to pass, man. For we hear the words of the Most High, and we take a heed to the words of the Most High. So therefore, what we do, we watch the news, and whatever prophecies we see coming to pass, and we see upwards of the people, we marry with the scriptures and bring it out to y'all. If we see um, food shortages, which is a famine, if we see the infrastructure crumbling, if we have wars or rumors of wars, if we see floods or we have an earthquake, we marry with the scriptures. We bring it out to y'all, man. It says, back in Proverbs chapter um, 8, verse 34, Blessed is the man that hath me, Watching daily at my gates, watching at the posts of my doors, man, which is a doorpost, man. Post means between the doorposts. And we watching daily, bringing our scriptures, going out to the houses and the byways, in season, out of season, putting up videos throughout the week. But what we doing, we edifying the helpful elect, man. We putting, the, we, we, um, watching for the words of the Most High. Then we bring them out to y'all by marrying them with the scriptures. Whatever is a prophecy we see on the news. So you, but you're not going to get no true news on mainstream media news. All you're going to get is lies and deception. So therefore you have to go to alternative, alternative news media outlets to get the truth, man. And then even then, do you have to... Um, um, how can I say? Even if you have to um, pick out the bones so to speak, and bring out the truth by marrying it with the scriptures, man. So it says, verse 35, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 35, For whoso findeth me, findeth life. Whoso findeth the words of the, find the Most High, which is, you know, the Most High open your eyes to this truth, and you take heed and be a part of this thing of ours, bringing out scriptures. If you're a part of the elect, it says, Whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor from the Lord. Obtaining favor from the Lord is when all hell break loose, man. Obtaining favor from the Lord is, is having a knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, which is going to make you stable in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of their times, man. And strength and wisdom, man. The fear of the Lord, having that fear, man. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, man, having that fear. Doing what the most high, what you were required to do, what the Lord commanded you to do. So I'm going to read it again. It says, For whoso findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord during the time of martial law. During the time when all hell was being, is breaking loose, man. During the time of great persecution. Which is right on our doorsteps right now, man. Verse 36, Proverbs chapter um, 8, verse 36. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. So you got the two thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans sinning against the Most High. Then you got certain crackpots like Sarnetta and other groups of people that are Israelites but sin against the Most High because they have no knowledge of the Most High, you know? They don't know the Most High, so therefore they sin against the Most High, and they wrong in their own soul, man. It says, And they that hate me love of death, man. So all you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans that hate the, the Native Americans, that hate the words of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, you love death, man. Because we bring you the words of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. These are not our words, man. We speaking from the 
volume of the book which is written of Yahweh Shah, man. We're not coming to you with our own words, man. We speak in the words of the Lord, man. Our Lord and Savior. But guess what? Two thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans despise the works of the most the words of the Most High. You hate the Most High, so therefore you hate you hate the words of the Most High. Therefore you hate us, man. And all that we doing is is bringing you good news, man, which is the gospel, telling you who you are, that you are royal people, that the kingdom is gonna be translated from Esau to us. But y'all don't want to hear that, man. You want Esau to continue to rule so he can oppress us. You want Esau to continue in his wickedness because y'all right along with Esau indulging in Esau's wickedness, man. So y'all don't want America to be destroyed, man. Y'all don't want America to be to be destroyed. And that's why you buck up against the prophets of the Lord, man. But guess what? We read it again. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. But he that sinneth against me wrong of his own soul. So by you coming up against the Lord's prophets and demonizing us, putting out false accusations against us, calling us pedophiles, calling us rapists, calling us an occult, you know, scoffing and scorning, you wrong in your own soul, man. And it says, all they that hate me love of death, man. And that's exactly what you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, that's a part of the Two Thirds Club, you're the walking dead, man. You love death, man. Because all you do is perform things and indulge yourself in things that bring forth death, man. Gang banging, homosexuality, adultery, drug dealing. And any other madness you indulge yourselves in, man, which bring forth death, man. So by you indulging yourself in all kind of man of wickedness, you hate the most high and therefore you love death, man. This has been a great millstone to the point, I'm about to say you, I'm about to edify, and with that, I'm going to...